I've always had a big love of music. Like so many people, 2020 really upended how we live our day-to-day -day lives. For Philip Hoover Holtis, it was a big change. As a theater teacher, virtual learning didn't give him the creative outlet he was used to having, which is why he sought out Heartland Men's Chorus. But last year, I just needed something to do because I was teaching virtually and so not singing as much. And so I needed to find that outlet again. So I always knew that HMC was there. Um, but definitely during the pandemic, it was something that really pulled at me and I needed to, to find that artistic, creative outlet again. Across the street, there's Tim and Greg. Music and performing are a big part of Philip's life. His husband, Todd, is also a theater teacher and their son, Matthias, is also very active in music and theater. On top of all of that, they also own a small costume company and make costumes for local theater productions. We make costumes for a lot of high schools um, and for Shawnee Mission Theater in the park. So we just finished sewing Newsies. Um, we did Little Mermaid at at the Jewish Community Center. 2020 was also an eventful year for his family. Philip and Todd formally adopted Matthias. In fact, the day we talked to them was actually Matthias's gotcha day, the one year anniversary of his adoption. It's been a kind of a crazy year with everything going on, but we wouldn't change it. We wouldn't change it for the world. To celebrate, the family took their dogs, Otis and Cleo, to Barquet. Philip and his family are always up for surprise outings and we are at the Ren Fest. It is raining. We got the dog. It's no surprise that some of those things involve costumes and creativity. Awesome. Let's go. We do a lot of things with since they show we do a lot of fun things and like when we went to Ren, Ren Fest yesterday, we got to see like people in fun costumes. And and now that life is slowly starting to get back to normal. Philip is excited for his future with HMC KC. Definitely looking forward to being live, um, hopefully back at the Folly and being able to be in a larger group of people and being able to really just dive into that literature and into that music and to express ourselves through that, through that literature. The people that you meet each day.